Why can I never get my head in the screen as well as my feet? This is a, this is a problem being this tall. I was getting really out of breath in these videos. Oh, it's like a workout, honestly. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a ASOS haul for you, but it's also a jumper dress video. It's how I style jumper dresses, and most of them go with over the knee boots. So if you haven't seen my over the knee boots video, and how to style over the knee boots yet, then definitely head over and watch that after this video. So it's gonna be a few different jumper dresses, different styles, different shapes, um, just different price range, just to show you the quality and um, my honest opinion of these dresses and if you're looking for a jumper dress this winter to keep you nice and warm then this is the perfect video for you guys. If you're new to my channel welcome I'm Casey and if you enjoy this video then please consider subscribing to my channel as it means a lot to me click the little button down here and you can do that right now and um, also make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know down below your favorite dress. So the first outfit I've got to show you, this is one I'm currently wearing. So this is a stone rib dress. This is £28. And as I said, everything's from ASOS and everything will be linked down below for you to head down and click on. So I actually really like this dress. I ordered it in a 10 and a 12 because I didn't know how it was going to fit. Sometimes if it's a bit too clingy, it doesn't look great. But this is the 10 and it fits lovely. Um, I tried the 12 on and it's equally as fitted here, but it's a lot baggier on the sleeves. It's sort of like ruches and it doesn't look as well fitted and as nice. So it's got slit details down the two sides of the legs, so nice and easy, whereas lots of midi dresses to walk in. Sometimes I feel like I'm walking like this, like a penguin, and I can't like get my legs around them. Um, so I styled it with some little loafers. These are from Primark. They were £8, I think. So yeah, head in and get yourself a pair of those. And, and this is how I would style it to wear it out and about shopping. So I've just added a little leather jacket, obviously any leather jacket will do, and a little black handbag, any black handbag will do, and as I said before, the black loafers. So really easy to put together outfit. Something plain like a dress. I always find like plain dresses so easy to just put on and go out the door. because You just need to add a few things with it and it looks like a complete outfit rather than having to worry about putting two things together. And I think this is definitely gonna be a keeper. I love this. So this next dress I have to show you is a chunky roll knit and the feel of this material is gorgeous. It's so soft. It was only £22 and I would honestly highly, highly recommend this one. Um, it's in a rose colour. The material on your skin is just like, it's just like silk. It's absolutely gorgeous and the quality is really high on this. What I would say is for us tall girls, so anyone over five foot seven, it's a little bit short for to wear as a jumper dress. Um, personally, I feel it's quite short on me. Um, I will show you how I've styled it though, just to see. So this is the jumper dress and I popped it with some over the knee boots. These were for, from Simi Shoes last year, but I will link some alternatives below. Um, and just a little pre mark handbag that was sort of last season as well. Um, and I think just something like a little fur hat would we'll just finish this off. So something just to pop over your head, um, keep your ears warm, and just sort of like finishes off the look. And looks really cute and chic, and obviously like will keep you cozy and warm. You could just pop something like over your shoulders, like a big chunky coat to go out in. That would look really nice as well. So this is this look. I'm going to take this off because it's getting a bit warm. <laughs> so this next item I've got to show you is a cream dress. Um, it's a cream rib dress again. This one, however, is a little bit thinner quality and it was a little bit cheaper. So this one was only £15 and it's from Boohoo, but I ordered it from ASOS. And they did have a 10 or 15% off that day, so it was actually less than £15. Um, I ordered this in a medium and it's in a cream colour. What I would say is a little bit see-through, which is probably due to the cheaper quality of the material. Um, however, it's fairly comfy. It's quite fitted on the arms, but um, it's got little bow details, which I think is really cute around the sleeves. They're really easy to tie yourself, um, which normally these are such a pain. I have to get my boyfriend to do it for me. Um, and again, I've just paired these with my tanned, um, tanned? Oh, no tanned, with my top boots. Um, so that's just probably how I would style these. Very easy, very simple. Um, and as, as I said, I'll link an alternative to these below um, as well, if you like this dress. 
Um, it's probably just long enough for us tall girls, so perfect um, length for a jumper dress. However, it is a lot thinner, so maybe consider wearing a body underneath, one of those um, like thermal bodies just to keep you warmer and popping a larger coat over the top will be fine with this. Also fitted coats would look great just to keep you nice and snug. So this next dress I have to show you comes in the colour Sand. It's a little more expensive, it's £35, but it's more of a midi length. It's very warm, very soft. Um, it's quite thin, but I can imagine it would keep you warm. And again, you could just wear like a slip body underneath something just to keep you a bit warmer. Um, perhaps like a thin thermal layer. And this one came in a size medium but it's quite large, it's quite oversized, um, and it's quite long. Um, I've styled this with some black over the knee boots. These are the ones I actually use for my over the knee, knee boot. Got a mouthful. The, <laughs> I always get really out of breath in these videos. Oh, it's like a workout, honestly. So, <laughs> these are the boots that I used in my over the knee boot styling video, and I showed you how to style them. But I honestly think over the knee boots look great with a jumper dress. This is really long and I think on someone short, um, or shorter than me, this would probably look um, maybe a little bit too long on and you wouldn't be able to get away with an over the knee boot because it probably would come down like well over your knees. But with this it's kind of got that room to like move around, it's quite comfy, it's like one of those slouchy day outfits you just think, yes I can be comfy in this all day. And obviously just a little bobble hat from Topshop last year. I'm sure they'll be doing something very similar this year. So you can just finish off the look like that. So this is my penultimate dress to show you. And this one is a black sort of thin cotton um, jumper dress again. Um, the, the roll neck on this is very slouched. So it's maybe more of a cowl neck than a roll neck. But as you can see from my previous videos and from this video, I love a high neck jumper. I just think they're really elegant, sophisticated. I also think they look lovely when you pop your head up. It just gives a bit of like elegance to the look. Um, this one, this one is £28 and this is in a size 12. I would say the fit is lovely. The only thing I would say with this one is I'm not sure of the fit on the bottom. I do prefer it when it just sort of sits in a little bit rather than this is quite a squared off bottom. Um, it doesn't feel particularly good quality, but it doesn't feel bad quality either. So I think for £28 it is, it's okay. Um, it's not very soft, but I think after a few washes it might be quite rough. But very good for a cheap, easy sort of like jumper dress to wear. Again, you could wear something like a thermal under here just to keep you a bit warmer. You could always add tights to the look as well. And I've just paired them with the plain black boots just to keep it all sort of quite stylish and simple and all together. So after this dress, I have one more dress to show you, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous quality dress and jumper dress. And then one little surprise for you at the end. So yeah. This is my final dress and I absolutely love this dress. I think this would look a lot better with your hair up um, because the neck is quite high on this. The quality of this dress is unreal. Like it's like a body. It's just perfect. It just, you know when it fits where it touches, it's not tight, it's not clingy. It's not, oh God, I'm just out of breath again. This is ridiculous. So this dress was 58 pounds, it was a little bit more expensive, but you can definitely tell by the quality that it is so much more expensive. It look, <laughs> I can't get over this. Look at this detail. I literally am in love. Like if I could be a sleeve, I would be a black and white sleeve with a bow. Has everyone ever said that before? Probably not, but I would. This, this is just me in a sleeve. It's like a little, Look at that, it's like flared on the sleeves and like floaty and pretty and it's just finished off neatly. Oh my God, I love it. I'm just joking by the excitement. This dress though literally is everything I wanted in a jumper dress and this is my ultimate favourite from this haul, this one and the fist. So I've just popped it with a pair of over the knee boots and I think I'll just pair it with a little black handbag, it's something quite plain and simple. This one is just from Primark and it looks quite expensive, I think. It's really good quality. Um, it was, I think, £12 or £13. And it's got a similar sort of feel and style to like the more expensive designer bags. 
So like the Gucci ones that we all see and they're gorgeous, but who wants to spend a thousand pounds on a bag? I wish I could, but there we are. So this dress is a definite winner for me. I think it's really flattering. It just sort of, like I said, fits where it touches. It's a perfect, perfect length. I don't feel conscious at all of my bottom coming out. Um, and I don't feel like I've got too much leg on show. I think it's absolutely just enough. It's perfect. Um, I can't really say any more times how perfect it is. Um, it says online that it's a large, but on the back of the label, it says it's a 12. So I'm guessing a 12 is a large on ASOS and it's a Morgan dress but as I said everything is linked below so don't worry about trying to find any of it yourself it's all there for you. Favorite? It is definitely my favourite dress. The first dress was gorgeous but the quality wasn't there um, like it is in this dress so I'm starting to see the difference of paying a little bit more for a good quality item and something like this like it's really never going to go out of style ever. It's just so plain simple, elegant, chic, gamey and just everything I love. So I hope you like it as well. Let me know down below if you do. Um, and my final little thing to show you is just sort of something I saw and I've been thinking about trying on for a while. I thought, you know what, I'm doing an order, so I'll just order one. So are you ready for the next outfit? It's not a jumper dress, it is. Are you ready? So this is something so different for me and yes I know the trousers are a little snug which is a shame but I do think this outfit is kind of gorgeous like it's a rust orange coloured oversized blazer I've got a body on underneath which I'm not going to show you too much of because it's not that kind of channel um I will tell you the prices just now okay so this outfit the body was £20, the trousers are 35 and the blazer is 50 And I would say, so the blazer is a size 10. It's quite oversized, which is fine if you like it like that. But for me, I think because it covers the bottom, it doesn't tend to give you much shape. Um, so if you want to go maybe down another size, I don't know, it's okay. Maybe like a, no, I probably would go down to an 8 in this and I'm normally a 10 to 12. The trousers I went for a 12 in, and as you can see, they are very tight, very, very tight. So if I was to keep this, I would definitely go up a size to a 14. However, I don't think I'll be able to do so because although they're very tight on the legs, there's a lot of room on the waist. And then if we go an apple size, it's gonna get too big. I would have liked the trousers to come a little higher just to where the body finishes. But I do think it's a really like lovely, elegant, classy look and it's a little bit sexy and classy at the same time. So the body is absolutely gorgeous underneath. I love the body. You would obviously need some sort of like nipple pads or nipple covers just to cover them up. Um, and then just a little black bag. I paired it, I don't know if you can see from there, with my Zara heels, those sort of like transparent ones. Um, these are 40 pounds from Zara and they are linked in one of my other videos, one, I think one of my Zara hauls. So again, I can link that underneath for you. But let me know what you think, it's a bit different. I was thinking of this for like more of a Christmas party, something coming up, it's quite festive, but without looking like Santa Claus because it's a bit of orange rather than like a red. But um, I think it's quite sophisticated, quite sexy, and yeah, something very different for me. So let me know what you think about this outfit. I mean, I do love the detail on it. It's just something so different for me. I'm thinking maybe something, this would suit me more in a black, maybe with like a white lace body underneath or a nude body. I'm thinking maybe that's more my style, but I just saw it and you only know, see it, you think I love that, I've got to try it. Just to let you know, I have a video coming up this week on how I tint my eyebrows at home myself. So make sure that you subscribe not to miss out on that. So thank you so much for being here today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed my ASOS haul slash winter woolly dress, jumper, high neck, roll neck, jumper dress, try on. Yeah. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please click the subscribe button right now not to miss any more of my videos. I upload once or twice a week so you will not be disappointed. I've got to say, I have a new look for my hair which is my, this is my natural curly hair and I'm just trying to embrace the natural curl because damaging my hair every day is not much fun. So let me know if you like it or if I should just carry on straightening it. Okay, cool, thanks guys. <laughs> 
Let me know what your favorite dress was and what you'd like to see more on my channel. So thank you so much for being here, guys. Have a great week. Love you all. Bye.